Hey, uh, Riza, if you can, man, break down Triumph and what what were what were you guys going through as a unit, and what were you going through as well as a producer, and you know, and as the guy. One of the cool things about Triumph is that it's one of the songs that was produced here on the West Coast in the Oakwood apartment. Wait, that's up the street from here. Yeah, Wu Tang decided to uh, get away from New York and come out to uh, L.A. to record our second album, Wu Tang Forever. Um, the bulk of it. Yeah. And Triumph, I had the equipment set up in my uh, in my apartment. It, I mixed the ASR 10 with the MPC. And at the time, there was this new Yamaha keyboard, I think the V71. And uh, of course, the Nord Lead, which is one of my favorite keyboards. Uh, I, and I put those things together. And I think I also had my Roland 2080. And I had this set up in my room, yo. Uh, and and I just started making this this track right here that I thought would have like a classical amplitude, right? But yet yet the soul music and mm-hmm. still the hip hop. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you hear my drums are is that constant hip hop sound, but when you hear the hear me playing the strings, right? You hear my strings even though it's the same note as you hit, right? Mm-hmm. When it comes back around later, it's the same notes an octave higher and played with more amplitude. Right. You know what I mean? Right. right. And then as you hear it mixing back and forth, so now this part right here, this is the keyboard right here. This is the uh this is the Yamaha. It's hitting those notes. What made the Yamaha cool was that it had uh, a good vibrato on it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like uh you know Isaac Hayes was always able to make his music vibrate like a wah wah pedal. Right. And this particular um Yamaha keyboard had that power. And then you hear this right here. You hear this Hear that chop piano yeah. going along with uh, those bass hits, which I, I was famous with, right, with my right. bass hits, that, yeah. that, fitness, that note on the top. Um, and uh, just then, once it was done, I knew the MCs would come in. Sure, and, and then everyone just killed it. Yeah. Try it has to be one of your favorites. You hear that part right there? Yeah. See, so it's the same notes, mm-hmm. but now mm-hmm. the octaves a are higher, higher and, there's a, and, it's, and it's, you know, double notes underneath, so... Switch back to the and no to the hook, no hook either. It's no just hook. bars, bars, left and right. Yeah, I tried to make sure that every time Wu Tang would do an album, you always had something that remind you of our first song, "Protect Your Neck." Sure. And "Protect Your Neck" was just MCs doing their thing. One small breakdown, and we keep going. So here you hear, we get the intro with ODB, mm-hmm. and then right there you heard that breakdown. Yes. You know, and that's the same thing in Protect Your Neck. We just come in, yes, Protect Your Neck, and then Dirty comes in. You know, right, so right, right, right. I, I kept that formula. You're, you're, you're noticing on every album Yeah uh, You know There's always one song Where it's gonna be About six minutes long Right 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 <laughs> Right right <laughs> Yo, And everybody's gonna air it out RZA is here Wu-Tang man Now break down Cream for us as well If you can Okay okay Wow Well the cool thing about Cream Is uh, we had a chance To go back in the studio And we recorded For a single Uh huh the original album cut. You had to do a clean version, right? Yeah, not just clean, but mm-hmm. this is a it's, this is a standard from the album cut. Mm-hmm. And uh, it started off with 60 Second Assassin doing uh, the ooh hoos. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'll notice that these drums are heavier than the original album cut. Uh, what a lot of people don't know about Cream is that uh, this song must have been recorded four or five times by Wu Tang Clan. Really? The first time we recorded it was during a court case I had. And I felt that uh, I, I I wanted you know I shouldn't have been arrested you know, yeah. and uh, it was called I'm on some. Sh-. It was just me and Ghostface. Uh huh. Later uh, it got recorded with just uh, Raekwon and Inspector Deck. It was called Lifestyles of the Mega Rich. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And then <laughs> then when we got to the studio to record the 36 Chambers album, right. we went through some more transitions. But once we got to the studio, we I decided that this track. Has to be on the Wu Tang album, and so I, I I reminded Ray and Deck of their verses, but their verses was long, long, and uh they they trunk yeah yeah it's like four verses on it, but they truncated the verses down, and Method Man, the master of the hooks at that time, yeah, he came in with this hook right here, cash rules everything around on the spot, get the money, yeah he sat there and wrote that mm-hmm. on that day, mm-hmm. and once he added that element. We knew that I knew it was a complete song, but sure. also knew that it was going to be a smash. Um, now the original sample comes from "As Long as I Got You," uh, a song that was produced for a band called the Charmels, mm-hmm. produced by <laughs> David Porter and Isaac Hayes. 
and uh, they are the song never took off, you know, back then. Right. And when I got a chance to meet Isaac Hayes, yeah, and I say, what'd you, you say? Know, I told him, yo, I sampled that song from the Charmels as long as I got you. You know what he did? <laughs> what? He hummed the piano. You mean boom, ba doom, boom, 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 ba doom, boom, boom. Right, boom. right, right, right. I said, yeah, that one, <laughs> that money, that right there. <laughs> and uh. And one thing that's unique here, I don't know if I could say it. Please do. But there's actually three other samples that's collide that's colliding with this sample. Uh -huh. Oh really? Yeah, those strings and all that. You know, I never said what it's coming from. I'm never gonna say it. <laughs> say it. <laughs> no, no, they come back on now you. Now you gotta say it. They will come back. Now oh, you gotta yeah. say it. All I can say is that uh, I I specialized in mashing four or five sounds together to get right. one sound. Man, you did that you know though. I mean? You did that's, it, man. That's happening here.